Today, we're gonna do a boulevard walk, but different from everybody else. A police tourist thing. So if you, any tourists have problems with the with the locals or other tourists or other expats, go there and they'll take care of you. We're gonna go from the brick all the way down there, but I wanna visit every single business. Okay, this is the Ghana restaurant. What kind of food do you serve? I serve breakfast and lunch. I know you serve breakfast, but is it Filipino food or Italian food or pizza? Um, one Filipino. Filipino pizza, food? Yes. Okay, so this is a Filipino restaurant. It's located at the Brick Hotel. So that's the Brick Hotel there. Hi guys. Hi. What food do people eat the most here? What dish? It's uh, rose and tato. Noodles and tacos? Uh, lomos and tacos. Or lomos and tacos. What's that? Uh, beef. Beef? Uh, beef here? Yeah. I like the beef here. Yeah. Uh, I like the pork. Chicken. Pork? Yeah. Let me know it too. What do you say? Uh, this, this, this. Dining. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, dining. Okay. If you only knew. <laughs> This is the Brick Hotel. Next, the next stop is the next one. Hi. What's up? Okay, good. You're not there. What happened? Yeah, swimming. Are you swimming? <laughs> You mean, you mean, the, the police, they went swimming? Yeah. Hear that? They went swimming, this is a swim break. Oh. <laughs> siesta, you heard of siesta? In Spain we got siesta, here we got swim breaks. <laughs> Take care. Okay. Nice, huh? Good people. Our next stop is... Lucky 8 or... Push. Closed. Pandemic. This is another coffee shop. I say the second best coffee shop on Dubai Yeti. Like an outdoor area. What they do have here is great desserts. Check this out. These are their desserts. <laughs> this is like heart attack alley. I mean, God. Look at the size of these things, man. Jeez. This is the. Um, this is the. Uh, Ambiance, it's really nice, laid back, very nicely air conditioned. These are the greatest Batistas. Hey, good people. And uh, what's your internet speed here? Internet speed. Uh, I don't know. How fast is yeah. internet? You have no idea. <laughs> But it's fast. It, it works right because nobody knows. <laughs> okay. Here's what it's for. Take prisoners or what? Stand by. Oh, stand by? Okay, good. Thank you for your service. Look at They're on standby. Here's the popo. Good guys in the Philippines. I mean. They don't beat you up here. <laughs> nice, nice people. Okay, this is Bee's Coffee. Come on, let's go Bee's Coffee. Hi. Hello. Like 
Stay back. Nice, quiet. You can talk, have a nice conversation. No loud music, no party. It's a nice atmosphere. It's similar to Starbucks, right? But a little bit better. Hi. You guys don't mind if I get you a YouTube Okay? Alright. He's a student. You guys go to Zooming? Yes. Yeah. Big time Zooming, huh? Oh, yeah, it is. Well, what was that big fan they had there? Hibala. 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 Hibala Festival. Oh, Hibala Festival. What's that stand for? There's no acronym. Hibala. I don't know. This is the uh, ambiance. Right? Come on, let's go to the next place. Okay, thank you. I, without permission, I came in here. Right? Does anybody mind their images not being on there? YouTube? Or not? Okay. Hi guys. Hi. Oh, this is a new Thai foot and body massage. Come on. Hi. What are your prices if I wouldn't want a massage? Yeah, here, sir. We have price list here. Okay. So we have regular rate and combo rate. So in regular rate, we have one Thai body massage. It's only 350. Okay, so it's 350 pesos for a full body massage. That's a, a little bit under seven dollars, maybe maybe 660, 640. Okay, this is the body. Can I see the room? Okay. Okay, thank you. This is the waiting room. Waiting room here. Yeah, sir. That way. Yeah. These are the massage rooms. Yeah. Right? Okay. It's cool. Right? And this is for... Foot massage. Foot massage. Yes, yeah, sir. Now, can I ask you a personal question? Yeah. Okay. Um, is there any, anything extra? I know, like, sir. Like all these corners want to know if there's yeah, no happy way. endings here? No, here, sir, because we are really in No the... happy endings. Yes. They're legit. Okay? Yes. So, all you crazy guys out there. <laughs> Nothing here. <laughs> no happy ending here, baby. Just pure, pure good massage. Yes, it's all clean right. massage. Hey. It's 350 pesos. What's that? Six dollars and fifty cents about? I don't know. You figure it out. It's uh, 156 pesos to the dollar. I tried figuring that out at Club Zero. I, I got confused. Thank okay. you. Appreciate it. Okay. Has anybody else ever did a video here? No. No. Okay. Hello, guys. Six dollars and fifty cents. 350 pesos for a whole hour. Full body massage. Oh, here come some people now. <laughs> hey guys, these guys just finished getting the massage. How was the massage? Good. 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 What'd you get? The full body or foot and back? Foot and back. Foot and back. Foot and back. Yeah. And what they charge you? How much? Three hundred. Three hundred pesos for a back and foot. Where can you get that in this state? What's like five fifty, five sixty? You think? All right. Cool. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah. God bless you guys. All right. All right. Anyway, there you go. Hope you enjoyed it. Please, please, please subscribe. Push that thumbs up and please ring the bell. Okay. See you guys tomorrow. This is a delicatessen where you can buy good, good, good foreign Western food. Oh, it looks good. Looks like the U.S. Oh, looking for nice juicy ribeyes.
Mercury. It's better in the Philippines! This is JLH Delicatessens. I hope you like it. This is a delicatessen where people, what's this here? It's a Schumann thing. This is a delicatessen where you can buy good, good, good foreign western food. Delicious place. It looks good. It looks like a United States deli. Looks like the U.S. Something they got here. Oh, hi. Are these meats imported? Or are they from? Meats are. I mean, is it from the Philippines or is it from out of the country? Other country. Oh, okay. So, so I can get American beef here or Australian beef. Because, because the beef in Australia, I don't, I mean the beef here in Philippines, I don't like. They come from caribou or caribou. Huh? You want pork steak? Yeah, steak. Okay. Looking for nice juicy ribeyes. You got a selection of cheeses, all imported. Yeah. Yes. yeah this is our best seller in the ribeye. Yeah, this is the ribeye, US ribeye. So you can buy it. It's Boy, expensive. Yeah, that's it's a thousand two hundred twelve pesos per steak. And this steak is is, is that is that kilo or pound? That's a kilo. Oh, it's a kilo. Okay, so it's about uh, almost a pound for twenty. I don't know. Do you figure it out? Thousand two hundred twelve divided by uh, um, fifty six. Pesos per dollar. So I figure 50 and add 6, I figure, uh, I don't know, 2,000 pesos, 2,000, uh, uh, $21, $22 maybe. All right, thank you. Okay. And this is T Bone? Yeah, that's the Wagyu Strip Line, the New York Pack. Whoa! Wagyu Strip Line. This is a. Uh, how do you say it? New York Pack. What's his name? Wagyu. Wagyu, that's, 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 that's Japanese meat, right? Yeah. Well, this is the expensive meat from Japanese that we get really expensive in the U.S. It's cheaper here than U.S. beef, believe it or not. This is the Japanese stuff called Wagyu. This is only 923 pesos, so that's about, uh, I think, divided again, 56 to 1. This, I figure it's uh, maybe $18, $17. They're not cheap, but... It's imported. They're the only people who have it here, I think. All right, what else we got here? We got more cheeses, stuff right here. Anyway, this is basically imported stuff. It's a first-rate deli. Ice creams. This is pretty good. I think I'm gonna start shopping here, if my budget permits. Okay, yeah, this here. Hi. Hey, how are you? You the boss here? No, I'm not. I'm just waiting for the box. Oh, you're, you're, you're a vendor. No, I'm, I'm. Yes, I am for the for the hotel. Oh, for the hotel. Oh, yeah, good. So what's back here? Is it dining room? I think so. Yeah. Oh, all of this is part of the Brick Hotel, by the way. Even the massages, I think. Hi guys. Can I? We're doing our expose on ambiance, Philippine ambiance. So can we take a? Photograph you guys? Is that okay? You, you want to take a video of the place and you guys here? I don't want to interrupt the place. Okay, come look. Okay. okay, right? Cool. This is the, the dining dining room. This is like a. This is part of the Brick Hotel, right? This is Brick Hotel too? Yeah, another dining room with Brick Hotel. This is family dining room. Hold on. Hey. Salama. Hey. Hey. And, 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 and. Mayo Hapong. Okay, you are a okay. blogger? Blogger? Huh? You're a blogger? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yes, I'm a blogger. Give me a thumbs up. Say, it's better in the Philippines. Ready? One, two, three. It's better in the Philippines! Alright. 
2,000 followers on TikTok. You have 2,000 followers? Cool. Excellent. Come here. This guy has 2,000 followers on TikTok. Put your mask down for a second. Come on. It's adorable. Yeah. 2,000 followers. And what's your 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 TikTok name? PJ Baker. PJ Baker? Babers. Babers. I, I do videos on Beyblade. Oh, okay. Yes. yes. Two, look at this. Look how old. Two thousand videos. Young kid like that. My cousin even has four thousand. Wow. It's all in the family. All right. Take care. All right. They don't mind. They love it. This is a nice, nice place. Hello. This is a nice deli. Has anybody ever did a vlog here? Video here? No. Nobody never did it, right? Yeah. See, guys? Breaking news. Something new for you. Now, the next place. I don't know. We'll see what we have there. Like old man new tricks. Shooting from the hip. Okay, let's see what we have. No mask, no entry. There's the Renaissance a lot. Come on. Maybe we'll get kicked out. <laughs> oh, close. Yeah. Nice time. Hey, buddy. Mm. What's your shirt, man? Are you afraid to turn black? Turn black. Why? Why? Get that? <laughs> <laughs> First finger I ever got, and it happened to be a homeless guy. I was big in front of me. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't have said the word, the, the B word. I guess they took it bad. This is Don Italiano. I guess it's Italian. Hi. Okay. This is Italian food. Sorry, sir. Italiano. Comida? Yes, I'm here. Okay. This is Italian food. We're doing an espresso in the whole boulevard. Come look and see what you Oh, I think we, we, oh, we did this already. Oh, this is part of the Brick Hotel? This is part of the Brick Hotel? No. Oh. Oh, yeah, we did this already. Okay. I guess they're interconnected businesses. Okay. Guys, this is Bass Burgery. Listen, I'm gonna do this place because it's meat. And you know how I feel about Filipino meat. This is gonna be a joke, right? We'll see what it is. See if it's a burger place or a burglary. The bun looks cool, nice and toasted, crispy. Come here. Come on. A little bit bigger tomato. Maybe uh, you know, we got we got tomato. We got lettuce, cheese, I tell you, the way it looks, it can be more presentable, okay? The sauce is good, but the tomato should be bigger, man. God, you gotta be kidding me, man. Tiny tomato! That's not a tomato, that's a, I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's not a beefsteak tomato, that's for sure. Okay, the meat looks great, but it's Angus, it's imported, so we'll see. 
Let's see the real test. But the bread feels real good. All right, ready? Oh God, let it be real, Angus, please. No caribou beef, whatever, Filipino beef. I'm scared. All right. American tasting beef and do my Forget how it looked. Taste wise, I say it's um, better than those fast food burger places you find in the States. I can't believe it, okay? Honestly. Have you seen my blog before about Filipino beef? I stay away from it. This is good! Holy shit! insurance place. Boring. Insurance. You know, I want to buy I want to buy a bike and I asked for the insurance and they only wanted to give me third party insurance because if my bike gets stolen they won't pay for it. That's it. Here in the Philippines there's no burglary insurance. I guess this is a lot of burgers. This is a Mia's a Presto restaurant bar. Just visited Mia's, couldn't eat because I was full from the burglary or whatever. Burger, it's not a burglary, but it's a good burger place. And now we're gonna go to, well before that, I gotta let you know, another part, this is day three now, going into, because 15 minutes have gone by and it's the best way to present myself is maximum of 15 minutes, but have so much to show you. Please come back, okay? Thumbs up, subscribe, and please ring the bell. Okay.